For 37 years, she's been known as Buckskin Girl, but now we know her real name. Today, we're all here to tell you that Buckskin Girl has been identified as Marcia, or Marcia, as she's been called, King from Arkansas. King's body was found near Troy, Ohio in 1981. She was strangled and left on the side of a road wearing a buckskin poncho. She was 21 years old. Investigators were able to identify her using a blood sample saved from when they found her. Not only get, did we get DNA out of that blood through a lab, a private lab of their choosing, but it led to using the genealogical database to find relatives. As technology improved, investigators were able to generate a DNA profile for her in 2001. A mitochondrial DNA profile was generated and uploaded to a public genealogy database in 2009. An organization called the DNA Doe Project uses genealogy tools similar to those used by companies like Ancestry and 23andMe to identify Jane and John Doe's. They accepted Buckskin Girl's case and made the match. Well, I, I think, think the biggest know. lesson was really persistence <coughs> because yeah. a year and three months ago when we started talking about it and everyone said it couldn't be done, yeah. we'd look at each other and say, why, why not? not? Persistence paid off. Police still don't know who's responsible for her death, but they were able to notify a family that their missing loved one had been found. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.